Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Charlie, and welcome to Captain of Industry. We're doing it again. This is the early access build, and uh, there are so much different with this game now. It's expanded in the late game, but it's also changing the middle, and it changes a lot in the beginning. It adds new complexity, it adds new flexibility, and it even adds new systems like uh, terrain collapsing and building collisions, like that kind of stuff. You got to build sidewalls to keep things from. It's we got it. We got to look at this now. This is a, a brand new version of the game from what we were playing just a little while ago. Here, I can't even click continue. All my saves are gone. So good stuff. And uh, what we're going to do is hit new game. I told myself I was going to do whatever the new map is. All right. And then there's a new map in the game. And it looks like it's Curland. So Curland is a beautiful island that is rich on natural resources. But its curly shape makes it a difficult to build. Large fact makes it a difficult <laughs> oh, I found two typos here. It makes it difficult to build large factories. You can even try to connect the two ends to make a circle, and we can uh, we can try that out. I don't know. Let's see what that's all about. So we're going to try Curland, brand new map. And I think I'm just going to leave everything default. I kind of don't care. Captain, I thought, was a decent difficulty. I, I thought it was really good. There was definitely a lot of challenges with your resource balancing and, and trying to keep things online. And I've learned a lot. I think we can put that to, to practice. And uh, I'm going to keep this here because I also have no idea what to expect with this map even. So uh, let's go into this uh, brand new uh, splash screen here for the load. That's awesome. And uh, look at this rockets. Yes, there are rockets in the game now. At least I believe there are. I haven't gotten that far, of course, but I believe that there are going to be rockets that we can build and a space station, and we're going to find and collect stardust. That's the end game, anyway. This save, pending any changes that they make to the game in the future that may break it, uh, this save is we're going to go all the way with this, right? We had a bit of a vote in our community tab here on YouTube, and uh, you guys voted very strong majority to start over with this build instead of continuing the beta build. So that's what we're doing uh, right now. All right, so welcome in the welcome captain. Yes, thank you, thank you. Let's pause it really quick and get a good look at this place. Uh, let's actually zoom out even more and get a good look at this place. Look at this, oh, this map. Now, okay, so this map is, looks quite flat until you get over here and then it's a little bit Got some little bit differences in terrain, but I'm noticing that there's not a lot of cliff sides and mountains and all that kind of stuff that we were normally used to in the last one. At least like varying different elevations. There is a little bit on this side, but over here where we're starting, it is quite flat. At least I believe it's quite flat. Um, one thing we can do is take a look at the layers. Let's see where our resources are. Okay, so we've got uh, iron right here and copper right here and if you're wondering how i get out this far because i know a lot of you are going to be like how did he do that okay hang on hang on hang on what is this what is this is this a is this intentional there's a giant circle of oil in the center of the island in the water okay well i know that i'm gonna start filling in the rock all the way out here then <laughs> that's awesome yeah, you can close it and make a circle, or you can cut right through the middle here, and, uh... No, that's much better. Oh, I like that. Wow, cool. Anyway, if you're wondering how to zoom out, because I know that's going to be a question, hit F11. It's photo mode, which I actually only discovered very recently. So, like, most of my thumbnails did not take advantage of this. Um, but, like, you can make much better thumbnails this way, huh? And if you have the resources open, like if you have this uh, overlays on when you hit F11, it'll keep them on, which is awesome. Uh, so let me get a good look at this place. We've got uh, iron over here, copper right here. There seems to be some coal and water kind of intermingled with each other, which could be pretty convenient. Um, giant oil over there in the water. There's also some oil right here, and it looks to me like way over there too, near where is limestone. Okay, and then we start getting over in here. There's another water deposit, tons more iron, tons more copper, a lot of sand over here, which is cool. And then we've got some limestone mixed with coal. And then finally, all the way over here, this is where the gold is. Gold or over here. Okay, so here's what we got to figure out, all right? 
Now, I got no doubt that I'll have some underground shenanigans with pipes. But unfortunately, in this new build, you cannot do conveyors underneath. And I was I was actually had some plans for conveyors underneath the ground. Won't be able to do that. They will collapse. There is now a collapse mechanic into the game where you have to put structure underneath things to make it happen. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Maybe there's a way to, to trick the game to let me do conveyors underground, but I doubt it. Uh, but I will, I'm willing to try things. What I have to figure out, though, is where I want most of my production to be. So we got... We still start with eight trucks and a tree harvester. We're starting with a tree harvester. Okay, this is one of those things that I never even had before in the last time we played. I never even, never bothered with it. So let's go ahead and mark some trees. I'd like to start near the iron. I think that's probably a good idea. So why don't we go ahead and clear out these trees that are near the iron. We'll make these the, the first trees that we're clearing away here. Um, we want to start building with, all right, we have waste collection. So uh, I wanted to walk through this too. So waste collection is a new thing that you have to do because people will throw away their garbage and other types of waste. And the waste collection building is responsible for taking care of that and getting it out of your system, getting it out of your settlement. You start with zero out of a hundred. If you ignore this, then your population begins to lose health. And health is actually quite important in the game now because positive health will grant unity. Negative health will start to dwindle your population and they can get diseases as well. Some of them you can't avoid things like a flu of the, the, you know, the flu epidemic or something comes through. You can't avoid those things. You just hope to deal with them. Um, you know, whatever. You can't prevent sickness, regular sickness. But if you aren't taking care of their basic needs, then they can get even more serious diseases. Um, so having clean water, for example, is going to be a very big deal. I think over here, I'm going to place a waste collect a collection thing right here on the tip here. I think right there is where that's going to go. And I need the dumping zone for that. So we're going to grab maybe over here on this side. And we'll just say that there's a dumping zone for garbage, like, I don't know, here and we'll just let them i don't know dump it over here right dump it to the top of mount crumpet and if this fills up then we'll assess that situation when the time comes uh okay next thing i want to do is mark our abandoned communication station for recycling but notice the difference in materials from the last playlist iron scrap and electronics these are things that are very different from what we had before. And in fact, you'll also notice on this side here, this interface looks different as well. And as we play the game, you'll see why it's different. And I really like the changes they've made over here. It's a very subtle one, but it's a very meaningful one too. And we'll talk about it. So let's mark that for uh, scrap. Uh, and then the final thing I'm going to do right away is build the research lab. And I think I'm going to make maybe make that like right over, I don't know, like this. Let's just place it right there for now. And we're going to deliver this with Unity so that they can get that going right away. Okay, so now since we're starting with the tree harvester, you have to actually assign trucks to that tree harvester. It's not going to bring the wood where it needs to be brought, okay? It's just going to take down the trees. The trucks need to be assigned to it. So I'm going to give it at least one truck dedicated to the tree harvester so it can go to work and they can get the wood and stuff brought. Okay, so with the research station done, let's take a look at this. The tech tree has changed quite a bit. Um, some of the changes are very small. Some of them are very big. So we'll go through them um, as we go. And I don't know all of them, so we'll experience them together as well. Um, basic farming is going to be the number one thing I start automatically every time. Uh, I think constructions should be next so we can start working on construction parts. Uh, then I think I'll go with the... Uh, let's go with the training dock and then power and maintenance. We'll follow it up with vehicles, beacon, uh, then basic diesel, then probably concrete production. Yeah. That can be kind of where we start with this. I think storage is going to be big too. We want loose storage after that. And then we can start looking at, I think, the repair for the ship, then synthetic rubber, follow it up with copper refinement. And then I think we'll probably not have a use for ramps yet. So we'll go construction two and then ramps. But notice something else. Crop rotation is down here as a research item. 
the green manure is not available at the start. So you have to research this and it requires you to get to construction two before you can research it. How interesting is that, huh? Yeah. Okay, so that's everything. That's what I've got going. And now it's just a matter of figuring out what we're gonna build over here. So we obviously wanna start with production with iron and we see a lot of iron over here. I like that. We're obviously gonna do copper here. Limestone's way over here, which is kind of inconvenient. Uh, and then I like this coal location relative to like all three of these things. I feel like right here is gonna be a very busy spot. And uh, I'm also looking at this coastline. And I'm thinking Cargo Harbor right here. Now they have changed how the cargo docks work now to where the ships won't collide. You're not gonna get land sharks anymore. Um, you can choose which direction they come from and everything. And the game will kind of intelligently pick that too. So I'm gonna actually take uh, dumping designation and I'm gonna say, I want them to flatten this land right here. I like the little grid lines and stuff too. You can see the height of the terrain. That's really cool too. We're gonna have them flatten this first. This is gonna give me a nice flat area for me to bring in my, our first cargo ship in the future. I like that. Uh, okay, next thing to do then is what we're gonna be, uh, our, the beginning of our industry, if we will. And that's going to be, I think, a coal maker. Oh, look, look how big this island is, dude. Jesus, there's so much room. Which is a good thing and a bad thing because it means that if I want to spread out and take advantage of everything, I need to spread out, which is also pretty expensive for transports usually, but we'll try to make it work. Let's put a coal burner right here. I'm going to get a blast furnace, I think right up next to that, let's say here. It should be a decent distance away from the, the iron mine, I think. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and get the metal casters out for this and we'll go... I think here and here with that. That'll be the two that we end up starting with. We're gonna grab a uh, molten channel, sorry. Grab the molten channel and go that way with it. We can also go this way with it, or I can opt to just simply have you merge here, which is I think a little bit cheaper. It's it's cheaper by like two, one part, I think, to do that. So it's not it's not worth it. I like the way this looks. All right. We'll let that go. And uh, we've also got the coal burner right here. Now, the next thing is the smokestack. Now, they've changed how certain things work in this game. And they've also changed and uh, tweaked a little bit about like the different tr properties and traits. So for example, exhaust used to be a one-to-one -one on pollution. Now it's a default two-to-one. So less air pollution by default with this smokestack. Kind of interesting. Carbon dioxide is even better. It's a four-to-one. So. It's, it's, yeah, it's great. It's still the same, like, you know, cutting your pollution in half sort of thing, but it's, it's just better. All right. It's just better. Um, we're going to put this smokestack, I think right about here. Cause I'm going to have another one of these blast furnaces most likely. So I'm going to actually let's just nest it right here. That seems kind of nice. We're going to go ahead and get our pipe transport, let's bring it up to level two and, uh, bring this around it over and i'm just gonna whip this in kind of like this and then uh we'll merge that down like that and then this is gonna end up uh i think i'm gonna end up pausing this but i'll probably will toggle its direction because again it's gonna connect with the, the other uh the other blast furnace eventually uh so that's gonna hook this up uh to the smokestack and then i can also hook this one up as well like that Okay, trucks are going to immediately get to work building things because they don't have anything else to do. But we could speed things up if we wanted to with the new Unity tool. Yes, Unity tool. We can highlight things and build it with Unity now if you want to. Thank you, devs. Thank you very much. Oh, I love that. Notice how it also didn't build the one that's paused, but it did deliver the parts for the one that's paused. So it's like I don't have to do that anymore, but it still won't build, which is kind of nice. Um, I will read one of the tutorial messages if I haven't covered it yet or if I don't know it yet. So there's probably going to be some things I can read. But for the time being, we're just going to let this thing cruise. So this is going to let us get iron, as you know. And we have iron scrap plus coal equals melted iron, uh, molten iron and exhaust. Same formula as we had before, except iron scrap instead of metal scrap. It's kind of the same thing, I guess. Um, you can see that uh, coal is building up in here, but they're not delivering it here, which is pretty interesting. Exactly what are you doing? 
guys. Are you going to deliver the coal to this building or no? Don't tell me you can't reach it. It's right here. If you can put wood in it, you can take coal out of it. Right? This is weird. Isn't this weird? Anyone know why that's not happening? They're just sitting here doing nothing. Wait a minute. Hey, you're delivering the coal, but what are you doing? That's bizarre. I don't know. Uh, I guess they're just going to do nothing for a while. Okay, cool. Um, farming is done. So let's go ahead and check. Um, like, this map is very strange on where to place this. Like, this is a big, wide open area, and it's like tempting me to put my farm, put your farms here. And if this colony spreads this way and maybe builds right here as this big thing, then having farms closer would be uh, kind of a blessing, right? So maybe we'll start the farm like right over here like this. I think I'll start it like this. And then I'm going to flip it around and we'll start this one right up next to it. Or we leave one space. I think we should leave one space. That was useful before for like pipe routing and stuff. We'll leave one space. Let's go ahead and actually have both of these built with unity i love it uh now there's other tools that you can get in the game too which are kind of nifty they've added a copy tool which we already had but now there's a cut tool as well which you might think is no big deal but it's actually a pretty significant deal so say for example i wanted to build one of these uh coal you know these coal makers and then i'm like you know i wanted to build it nah it's, i need to build it over here right just this little one tile over well, in the last game, what you had to do is you had to delete this and then you had to put the coal maker where you wanted and maybe you remember the tile or maybe your eyes wandered down here to click this and then you're just like, uh, uh, where was it again? Right now you don't have to do that. Instead, there's a cut tool. Hold X and just kind of move it where you want. When your mouse over top of it, you can just hit X and move it wherever you want. And that works in a nice highlight as well. So if you wanted to cut some buildings that are not yet done, you can do that now. You can also copy, of course, with C, and then you get multiples like this, and multiples like this. Maybe you go like this and you get six of them. Then you're just like X and you're like, you know what? I want to move them over here. Cool, right? So much easier to destroy things now. It's great. I love it. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I just wanted to not destroy things, but it's so much easier to move things around and I love it. It's a very good change. Uh, okay, what else was I going to cover? I want to do underground pipes again because I like the idea of it. I liked how clean it was. And I'm kind of thinking like, where does my where are my resources going to come from, right? I've got iron over here. We obviously see that happening because it's the first thing you start with. But I don't know what these guys are doing. They're just like, they're just hanging out in here. Hmm. It's weird, isn't it? Don't you think it's weird? They're just sitting here. There, there they go. Do something, huh? Go do something. Maybe I'll assign you to the... Oh, I haven't seen this tree thing yet. Hang on. Tree harvester. Dude, look at that thing. Whoa. He just puts it in the truck. It grabs it, turns it on its side, and processes it. And it does it very quickly, too. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now we have trash accumulating right here. This is our dump zone, right? I marked this as the dump zone. Yep. So they're starting to build this ramp of trash. That's crazy. Okay, cool. And yeah, so we're gonna deplete like concrete pretty quickly too. I don't wanna have to deplete that, but that's gonna happen pretty quick. I need to let this run to, to construction um, and then I can start assembling different parts and everything. I'll show you how that stuff's changed. Um, but I do wanna take a look really quick at some of the resources. Now, coal and water being here is interesting. For a variety of different uses but this oil being so far away here <laughs> here and uh way over here this is probably the closest oil we have but it's on the wrong side I, I don't want it to be over here i'm gonna start a lot of my stuff over here and hang on pause construction just finished let's go ahead and get assembly going and i think for the assembly i do kind of want it in the middle here because copper's coming from this side, iron's coming from this side, that'll be really convenient. Then we get coal coming from this side, right? And then anything else that we import and stuff can come from this side too. I, I, I like this. I like. I think I'm gonna put an assembler here and here. I'm gonna start with two of them right here. And um, at least one of them gets delivered. 
Now we have three different recipes on these assemblers right away. Iron and wood plus concrete equals the construction for construction parts, right? That was, that's pretty basic. But the new ones we have are iron to mechanical parts. Okay. And then there's also rubber, copper to electronics. And then eventually, once we unlock vehicles, we're also going to get uh, the creation of vehicle parts. So if you take a look at this, mechanical parts, we have 160. Now there's 120, and these are vehicle parts. And that is very different, right? They're not all the same resource anymore. They're, it's not like everything is just built with construction parts. Now you have specific parts for specific purposes, which is kind of cool in that I can build a bunch of cars and it doesn't affect my ability to build like a factory. But it's also not as cool because I spent time making parts for something that I'm not using right away, right? I spent time on vehicle parts instead of construction parts. But they also take different resources and you know different inputs and stuff as you'll see too so that's kind of cool so i'm gonna let these stay here and uh you can see that the trees are marked i'm hoping that that gets done pretty quickly and you know it might be a good idea to have two of these like we could get them faster but this is not a game that rushes you it seems like it is but really what it boils down to is do you have food yes cool you get to live this is your determining factor and so and and of course the the resources that are finite on the island are a determining factor too but you can take your time with this game you don't have to rush it you don't have to go super fast as long as you are not consuming quickly you can take your time it's all about how fast you consume your resources now the farms still require rainwater initially to have that fertilization and to um you know to actually grow to get their water however You'll notice I can't crop rotate, right? I can't do it because crop rotation is something I have to research now. And so now what happens is that you get the fertility cost every time you produce the potatoes, right? Um, but, and it's gonna cost you this, but this is your soil fertility here. And notice what it says, soil fertility affects crop yield with 60% fertility, there will only be 60% yield. That makes sense. Most crops consume fertility by growing, Fertility replenishes naturally when below 100%, or it can be increased by growing crops to provide fertility or by using fertilizers, right? And crop rotation is also gonna be something that's a really big deal in this playthrough because we now have additional considerations for people. It's not just potatoes, generic food. No, no, now you have carbs, potatoes, corn, I believe bread, like bakery. And then you have different proteins, vitamins, and treats. And your health goes up and your unity goes up if you can provide a variety uh, to, the, to your citizens, right? A balanced diet. That's what you wanna do. It's, um, it's kinda wild. So we're gonna be doing all sorts of that stuff now too. Trading dock is available. And I'm kinda feeling like maybe it could go over here. It doesn't look like it's gonna let me. Some parts need to be in the ocean, I'm aware. Ocean access blocked. Okay, so you see this, this right here? Right, this is where the boats can go, okay? And you have to make sure that these paths are not blocked. So it looks like I can kind of go here, but I can't, but I can, but I can't. How about over here? Can we go over here? This is really far away. Like, if I'm buying things, they're gonna have to come all the way over here to get them, but this is not a valid uh, path because it's gonna cross with that ship, but it can be over here. It can also come from that way, which is not a bad deal. So I might, I might take and put it like over here. Let's put that trade deep, that trading dock over there. That's gonna let me buy resources, mostly probably concrete. Um, it's gonna let me buy things with by trading wood uh, if I if I need to if I can. So we'll probably. I don't think it's gonna be able to get all these trees out of here in a timely manner, but I can probably mark all of these. No, that, that tree harvester is pretty fast. So, all right. So we're working on power and maintenance now. Power is gonna be obviously important for everything. And I'm trying to figure out where my power center is gonna be. And I kind of like the idea of putting it right over here. Maybe specifically putting it on this beach. I, th I think I kind of dig the idea of putting it on this beach. This beach though is not flat. So we'll probably have to do something with that. Or I can maybe make that power center be, like I can probably mark this and say, well, like what level is it? It's. If this is three, like say I want everything to be level with three, 
I can go like this. And try to set it up to where our power center is just level with all of this. Which is an idea. You know, I just make this whole thing like this and then there's our power. Because we're going to bring in water for power. We're going to need uh, coal for power initially. We're going to need oil. All that stuff I think is going to pass right through here. That's a, probably a good way to do it. Um, okay, so here's what I want to do in, in anticipation for power and maintenance. We currently have 221 construction parts. And you can see how these bars, right? This is a subtle change, but it's really good. This is your trend. Okay, so you can see how your supply is dropping or how your supply is going up over time at a glance. It's very nice. I like it. I'm gonna take a look really quick at the layers and go over where the oil is. So if I'm gonna make oil, if I'm gonna get oil here first, and I think I am, what I'm gonna end up doing is probably making a, oh my God, look how, this map is bigger than you think it is. Like, that's a, that's a pipe, that tiny speck, that's a pipe. You zoom right in. All right, it's very big, very, very big. Let's see, so probably right around here is where I'll start this pipe. So let's say right about here, we bring this pipe all the way over like this and we just kind of i don't know go forward with it and it's it's gonna be a temporary pipe which is expensive because see how much i'm i'm spending for this uh for this pipe it's pretty expensive but i think in the in the really early game like this we can probably afford this initial investment mostly i think because we aren't uh we're not really spending a lot right now and so we can spend this a little bit extra. I think this is a good setup for longer term. And uh, you'll see what I mean by that. It's because this island is so massive, I want the trucks to not have to travel very far. And I would really like my fuel hub, if you will, my power hub, my fuel hub, to be something that's closer to my equipment. And so I'm gonna take and spend this 200 plus construction parts, which is insane. I know it's insane to do this. I'm probably gonna think wow what a waste <laughs> but i'm i'm gonna do it anyway and uh i think overall it's gonna be a good decision i should probably raise this up to two so it doesn't interfere i could also go right behind this so that they can keep leveling this that's probably a good idea it's gonna be a slightly less parts to do that too i bet uh yeah let's keep it up to height two so the trucks don't get interfered with and we're gonna bring it like right over into here okay i think maybe like right here and then we'll, we'll dip it down like this. That's going to be our first big pipe. And look at this thing. It is a massive pipe. 348 construction parts. It is going to take a lot of our construction parts to make that. But again, I think it's going to be worth it. I, I think. Um, because it's going to allow me to process the oil and get in fuel and everything right here. Which is really nice because coal, iron, and copper are all really close to this the fuel management is going to be a lot easier if that's being processed right here as opposed to being processed way over here and then once we're done and depleting on the oil here i can get most of these construction parts back just by deleting this pipe that gives me an influx of parts later so i won't get, i'm not going to get all of them back but i'll get most of them back and i think for the timing of it it's going to work out okay the only problem is um we're not going to have any construction parts for a little while and uh you can also see oh what's this Settlement reputation one, increase to reputation two. You can donate parts to increase our reputation. So it says you can donate some products to increase your reputation in the settlement. The better reputation you have, the more trade offers you get. All right, cool. So they're not gonna be the same the whole time. Reputation also affects pops adoption. The products have to be delivered by your ship. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm all right with that, I'm good with that. Uh, 538 concrete we're running really low so we're gonna need to get like storage and stuff going here so I think unit storage we'll probably get before we you know before we spend all of our parts on that um, let's go ahead and grab like probably two storages at least I'll go ahead and quick deliver well I can only do the one so we'll make this wood because apparently I don't have any construction parts available <laughs> we'll make wood here and allow the trucks to uh to bring that in and then i want to find that truck harvester uh oh, i found it the trees are falling there's already two trucks on this but i think three is probably good here we're not doing a whole lot and there's still this truck doing sitting here doing nothing i'm wondering if he's stuck are you like i can't recover you either it's kind of 
kind of weird. I can't do anything with this truck. Oh, there it goes. Weird. I don't know what to, I don't know what to think about it. Sometimes they just sit there and do nothing. <laughs> oh, it's early access. That's my, that's my excuse for that. Um, iron is going to be stored here, but now we have a wood storage. So I'm kind of hoping that if they have nowhere to put this, they can start putting it there. And that's going to be good. Now I can have one of these, let's say this one here, dedicated to a specific recipe that allows them to keep kicking out only one thing. And then I'm going to boost it. So I believe we have enough wood, iron, and I know we have concrete slabs because they're in storage over there in that scrapyard thing that we're tearing down. So we should be able to make these construction parts very quickly. And you can see this, this belt, they've already delivered 220 of them to this giant pipe. Like I'm wasting so much, so many parts for this, but I think in the end, I, I, I believe in the end, it's going to be worth it. I'm, I'm taking a gamble there, but it's not that big of a gamble. Like I said, if, as long as you have food, you can take your time. You don't have to rush. This is not a game where you have to rush. In fact, most people who rush and try to do things fast and try to expand too quickly are the ones that fail. So, you know, take your time. You can do that. You, you have the ability to do that. And uh, all these parts here are going to start building. So let me let this run just for a little bit. I, I have vehicles and mining going. We have the power system, actually. I don't need to let it run. Uh, power system is available with diesel generators. And I think just to start things off, I'll probably put diesel. Well, the thing is I need, I need the oil. I need basic. The refinery is probably going to go right here. So if that's the case, then I would probably have a pipe that goes, I don't know, over here somewhere. And it would probably lead over this side, maybe to here, just to give me room. I can I can afford to spend that room so I'll probably end up being about like here and then we'll have like a fluid storage right here we'll go ahead and pause this we'll have like um you know some fluid storage is here on this side and then I'm thinking probably yeah I'm thinking the diesel generator can then go about here well no I, I don't know where the, the storages are going to be is it going to be the same width as these unit storages like they probably are right the same size I would think they are so if I was to lay this in like this assuming that they're the same size as these like footprint wise I could put the generators here right and so I'll stick one generator like maybe right here right that's pretty that's pretty fine pretty fine yeah pretty fine <laughs> let's go ahead and build that that's gonna allow them to at least get the the power running so that structures that need power can do it. Uh, and by structures that need power, I mean the maintenance, because we need to start doing that too. And that is located here. Maintenance building, basic. Let's go ahead and we could probably go from this side. Or maybe we do it over here. We, we have room, like we don't need to cram things right now. So I'm thinking like, you know, that's the out for the assembly, but the copper is going to be sourced from this side. Let's just put maintenance like right here. Yeah, we'll put it like right there. And when they're able to build that, then great. It's 40 construction parts, which of course I uh, don't have because <laughs> I'm putting it all into this giant pipe. And you know, I could probably pause this just for a little while so we can get other things built. We have a lot of, pi a lot of parts dedicated to this right now. And if for some reason I decide I don't want to build this before it's done, I get all of this back. That's fine. So now we just need all these parts to be kicked out. And uh, we're also making mechanical parts and electronics out of various different resources as well. So there's an instant usage for rubber here too. The rubber and copper we have in storage is already being used to make electronics. And we can build that now. So let's get maintenance running. Trucks have something else to do now, thankfully. That's good. Um, and then we can probably take off one of these trucks on the tree harvester. How do I find the tree harvester? Can, can, it, can I highlight him or something? Do I just have to w watch and wait for the forest to fall? There it is. There's a tree falling. He's right here in front of me. There, I wonder if there's like a, a way to somehow pin this so I can always know where he is. That would be that would be nice, wouldn't it? I think we're going to take one truck away here. So just have two because I think it's kind of disrupting my logistics slightly. Now, of course, we're on a timer here, right? 
we only have a limited amount of fuel. And uh, when that's depleted, we have 400 left. When that's depleted, that's kind of it. Unless we can purchase it and we can't. We actually have to use it to purchase things, which is not good. Um, we only have four coal left and it doesn't look like I have any concrete. I'm going to need more. I'm going to spend a little bit of unity just to get some extra concrete. I'm going to need a lot more, especially if I want to finish this pipe. <laughs> I need a lot more. Oh, this extra pipe. And you know what? Like, it'd be cool to put this underground, but it's going to take way too long. Um, one of the things about the underground pipe system that I did and I learned uh, when doing the other uh, the other playlist is that it takes forever. And so you want to you want to be in a situation where your colony is very stable and it's just running perpetually. Like, you don't have to think about how it's growing. You don't have to think about doing anything other than the trench other than laying the pipe, that's it. Uh, because So at this point, it makes no sense to do that, um, but I probably will have one running from over here, straight over here, because it might interfere with colony development. It also may under, may uh, interfere with other types of stuff I wanna build over here. So there'll probably be something that runs under, under the ground this way. And then we'll definitely have something, maybe even an underwater pipe, that'd be kind of cool. It won't be necessary though. We're definitely gonna have some sort of like large piping system, maybe even just like two underground pipes that run clear across this, I think, so that we can hook up with this gigantic underground oil system. And um, we'll be able to do that and, and run that oil wherever we want without the pipes showing and without having to worry about them being uneven or straight or whatever. We could just let them run and do whatever. So uh, I think that's probably a better call. So the beacon is now what I'm working on, but we just got access to vehicles. So I'm going to go ahead and get vehicles depot and I'm going to put that. I, I, like, I like where it was over here, but I'm going to leave a little a couple of spaces here. I didn't like how it was right up against it. I couldn't run like pipes through it and stuff, but I can now. So let's deliver that. We'll get a few more trucks because that's going to be needed. And I need to also start getting excavators. So we'll queue those up too. Let's go ahead and quick deliver that because we can. And we'll get like, say, five excavators and the rest are trucks. Uh, okay, so for the activation, obviously we want to start getting iron. And I'm thinking probably I could put the mining tower here. And I'm going to also want to get coal. So we could put the mining tower maybe right over here. Uh, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of uh, trees in my way here. But let's put the mining tower like right here. And um, we want to mark this area, this area to start mining too. So we're going to say that... I want to obviously get all of this coal and we're going to start by just trying to flatten the terrain. So we're not going to bother with, you know, going uphill and dealing with different terrains. We're just going to make this all flat. Everything needs to be plus three all the way over. Everything's flat plus three, at least to here. That seems like it's going to work. And I think they've already been delivering things. Maybe Have they already been delivering things. It kind of looks like it's, you know, a little bit of a wave here. A little wavy. I think they've already started delivering stuff over here, which is nice. All right, so we got our first excavator. Excavator? Yeah, excavator. First excavator out. I, I swapped some mortars and stuff around because I wanted a couple more trucks. But uh, we got the first excavator, and then we'll get three more after this. So that first one, I'm going to have working in the uh, iron area. So we can start mining that out. And I'm going to get uh, at least one truck assigned to that. No big deal. Um, the next excavator, probably the next two actually, we'll go ahead and get assigned to this control tower so we can start getting coal. And then that coal can be delivered, obviously, by truck all the way over the places. Now, we don't have access to loose storage yet. But what you're going to notice as we start playing this is that many, many of the models that you noticed before have changed. Like this right here, this storage building, right? It looks very different than it used to look. And um, a lot of the storage and stuff have all been revamped. So they all look different and it's it's nice that way. I like it. I'm going to go ahead real quick and buy some concrete with the excess wood we have so that we don't run out and um, so that we can continue to hit this as hard as possible. Now you're also noticing probably that these are full on construction parts and that's probably because I need a storage for those construction parts too, I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and put you here. Um... Nope, I'm going to put you here. Right about, let's say, eh, got space, right? We should use it. Let's go there. And this is going to be a storage for construction parts. So we'll have someplace dedicated that the trucks can move it to. 
and we'll tell them to keep it full so that they get it out of the storage here and we can start uh you know we can keep hammering away at the construction parts that we need because we need a lot of them man uh basic diesel is being researched which means the beacon is done let me just go ahead and grab that and we're gonna place the beacon right here out of the way go as long as we have power we'll now have more people being brought in yes yeah, so 16 refugees will come in in just three months and obviously as time goes on and more refugees come in you start to get less and less of the refugees and to the point where you can only get new population by getting out there and um making a relationship with uh, other civilizations other other settlements out there in the real world yeah all right so this pipe is basically done now I can quick deliver if I want to. 314 have been delivered here, but I want to wait. I'm going to wait to fin finish it because I still get a full refund if I cancel right now. Um, I want to wait to finish it until I get basic diesel done so I can start setting up the system. So I'm going to hoard some construction parts for a little bit. And uh, I think also, yeah, this is waiting on where to put the iron. Ah, because of this. I need to give this a new recipe. So you can actually make iron with this now. Um, because I already have that pipe built, I think it's probably okay to copy this and make another one. Is it going to be right here? I think it's probably okay to, to start that. So we'll, we'll get that going. And then, um, we want this to go up two levels and then over and hook to there. So we can go ahead and let that construction go now. And then this one can uh, be delivered as well. We'll get the uh, molten channel going to there. And the molten channel going uh, one more to there. Yep. Uh, and then, wait a minute. What is this? Oh, the smokestack. Oh, I copied the smokestack. Don't do that. I was like, wait a minute. There's a port back behind these things? Since when? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, I think that's... Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's just go ahead and finish these. We don't need the trucks to do it. And uh, we can go ahead and get this one doing iron only so that the iron trucks always have a place to bring this. And I don't know if I'll need more coal. We're doing six every 60 seconds here. And we're using nine every 60 seconds here. So it looks like we do need another one. Oh, this is a settings button now. This used to be the copy button, but now you can actually copy settings. Um, so for example, if I was just building this and I wanted the same recipe or the same truck import, export, all that stuff, if I wanted all that stuff to be the same, I could just copy its settings and paste it somewhere else. That's kind of cool. Uh, but this is the copy tool. I'm gonna go like this with it. And yeah, that's fine. And then we'll take this pipe and go uh, straight up, I guess. Yep, and then we'll deliver that on their own good time. This will let us process even more wood. Since we're going to be doing that, I should probably assign one more truck to the tree harvester, just to make sure. You are still purring away very nicely. Love it. I am spending, obviously, some to boost this. I want this to go faster. And then construction parts are now starting to go into unit storage pretty nicely. Um, we are completely out of vehicle parts, however. And I probably should allow them to create more of those because I can't get any more vehicles if I don't. So why don't we, at, at a certain level of risk here, I'm going to create a second one. By second one, I mean third one. And I'm going to allow this to do all recipes. And we'll let the trucks come in and decide what you're going to do. But this one is the only one that is boosted and constantly running one single recipe. And that is construction parts because I have stuff I want to build and I don't want to wait for it. So this one's dedicated to that. And the concrete slabs are probably getting close to gone, I would think. A only 88 left. Yeah, so we're going to have to start buying with wood. Uh, probably need another truck on this then. I'm going to go one more truck on the tree harvester then. Well, is it is it necessary? Is there ever a part where this thing is waiting? Yeah, we do have... I think we have more than, more trucks than we need on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we need we have more. Let's go just two trucks. Two trucks is fine. The rest of them can do logistical stuff. Uh, okay, I need this to run just a little bit longer to get to basic diesel, but I have enough refugees here. I have 21, 24 workers, and I feel like as soon as this next group comes in right now, I'm going to stop it. There it is. I'm going to stop that for a while because uh, I, I don't want to go too fast, right? I don't want to get too many people, 
and currently we have 140 population which is the absolute maximum we can have before we get homeless however because we're our people are in good health there is a slight population boom like there's a slight chance of getting more people and so they may have babies naturally and therefore i may start to get homeless so i will need to build another settlement pretty soon um but i'm gonna wait on that just as long as i can i, I want to expand settlement wise i want to expand slower okay and i know that's probably not the most interesting thing to hear from a from a youtuber oh i'm gonna expand slower really why yeah well there's reasons i assure you uh there's there are reasons to expand slower i don't want to get carried away with the water problems and the coal problems and all that stuff i want to take my time you can go one time speed in this game most people i think probably spend the overwhelming majority of their time in this you know max speed mode but you can in fact click this button and slow down and think about things before you do it it's it's completely fine to do that. Don't feel like you have to play differently. Uh, don't let people peer pressure you, even if they're in your comments. <laughs> hey, look, there's 128 of these construction parts. We're going to have diesel up and running. We're going to have fuel up and running, like, right away. That's going to be very nice. Is there anything else I want to do before that happens? Um, There's nothing I really can do before that happens. I would say... It's probably a decent idea just to like maybe queue up another one of these, but not actually build it. Um, it's the planning tool. Yeah, I'm just going to put this right here because I don't need it right now. But I have a feeling that this is going to be a decent spot for power. And I also see like this is blocking a lot of land and stuff eventually. Like this is going to block a lot of stuff um, just because it's laying on the ground flat without a ramp yet. But we'll get ramps eventually, too. All right, so basic diesel is done. Let's pause it really quick, take a look at the oil pumps, and they are gonna go, I think we're gonna do two of them. Um, well, the output in this is 18 every 60 seconds. So yeah, we can afford to do two of them. Uh, we'll, we'll easily be able to handle that in one pipe here. So we'll go like this, like this, like this. We'll be like this. Um, that's not straight, but do I care? Nope, I've decided I don't. And then this will go this way. Uh, yeah, that's good. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. Whoops, definitely not. Hey, pause mode. What's up? Okay, the pause tool doesn't want to cooperate with me anymore, does it? No, it doesn't. It's okay. Unity that. And uh, go ahead and unpause. It's weird. How come that's not working? I guess I can't right-click this. It used to be able to drag a box with the pause tool, but now it's just moving my camera around, so... I don't know. Let's go ahead and finish this and unpause it. This gives us the working pipe all the way down here. It's going to be glorious. Okay. Now, what we want at this point is the basic distiller. And then we've got oh, some extra room here to expand if we want to, don't we? Extra room for expansion. <laughs> Let's flip this so that the coal comes in on that side. And we'll just pop this pipe right. You know, I think I'll actually build this like this here. And that way I have room to like split this and go off to do different ones if I want to. Because I could get multiple of these, but I at least need one. I don't need multiples yet, but I at least need one. So I'll give myself some room, all right? I don't, you don't need to crowd everything. I'm, I'm trying to tell myself this. But I have a tendency to, to not listen to that advice. Um, now, for the smokestack here, for the exhaust. Yeah, like, it's not great to be here, but... Uh, if I'm going to make two of them, then I'll probably put this in the center like this, I guess. And so we'll have this pipe go in like, um, let's just have it go out over and in. And that way, if I do make a second one, it will be here and it can just combine into that, that pipe right there. Okay. So we want this to start immediately because the oil is coming, whether you like it or not, it's going to be here. As soon as this pipe is done, it's going to start filling with oil and it's going to be nice. Um, and then I believe we just got access to fluid storage. Yes. So fluid storage. Oh, it is right there, but uh, the, the, yeah, it's one space. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what? I can just move. I can move the pipe. I don't need the pipe there. I can move the pipe. Do that pipe there. Uh, this, this tank here, then we'll do this tank here and then we'll do 
because this one doesn't need to be here right now. I can move that out of here. It's not built yet and put this there. So now I've got three tanks and then this pipe can go across like so and go into there. Okay. And then finally this pipe can come around this side and there. Okay, good. Awesome. This is going to store diesel diesel and I don't really need to select it. It'll go in there naturally, but it's going to store diesel. Okay. So next thing is coal. We need coal to be delivered here. And that is where we get the excavators. Oh, I thought that would be built already. Why? Vehicle parts. Rats. Of course. Um, let's pull you off of this. I need to get coal now. So, uh, put you on this one instead. And then we'll let them start dealing with coal. Uh, I do want you to prioritize coal above all else. If you could please like focus coal for a little while. That'd be nice. And uh, that's going to get this thing running pretty well. You can see that coal's already been deposited by a truck. That's nice. Is oil in the pipe? It sure is. It's on its way here. It's going to take a long time to get here. But I think this is going to be better, right? We process everything right here in the thick of it. And just like, we don't need to worry about this. This doesn't matter, right? Where the oil comes from doesn't matter. It's all about where it's processed and stored. That's what matters most. And I think that's what we're definitely doing better here at this time around. I'm going to have things located in convenient places that limit trucks. And um, that means concentrating where the resources are primarily kept and um, expanding out with truckless infrastructure uh, to places where the trucks don't need to go, um, which is kind of the opposite of what, it, what I did last time, at least for a little while. I mean, there was a few things where I started to get better at it as time went on. But for the most part, that's kind of how it was the first time. And it doesn't need to be that way, you know? So it looks to me like we are purring still, maybe not getting iron anymore. So let's, let's switch this now, I guess. This guy's like, I don't know what to do. You don't do anything. You go off and do whatever you want. Okay. You, you know, go, go on a smoke break or something. It's fine. Okay. We're out of concrete. That's why we're not making any more parts. So we need to get wood and we need to get concrete and that needs to happen quite soon because now, yes, we are making fuel. At least we will be as soon as the oil gets here any second now. Um, unfortunately, even though we're going to be making fuel, we won't be able to store it because we won't have the construction parts to do so. So it's really all coming down now to wood and getting concrete for that wood. And uh, so I think I'm going to disallow. Oh man, this one can totally do it. If I just had, if I only had the concrete, you know, I think both of these should work on other things for a little bit, but um, I can remove the boost on this now at least. And then if I can just get the wood, man, if I can just get the wood, uh, you're completely out of concrete. And you're almost out of electronics too. So now we're on our own. Now it's time to trade with the village. I don't have enough products. I need 20 wood to get 20 concrete. Well, that's what I'm going to wait for then. I'm going to wait for that. So this is our start. It's a really big island. It's very different. Um, but I think we can really make some cool things happen with it. And I'm, I'm, I've already got this planned out. I've already got my, in my head, I'm thinking, okay, launch pad for the rocket right here in the center of the water. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but if there's a will, then there's a way that's, that's what I've been told. Right. Uh, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really do appreciate it. I hope you'll show the video some love, especially the first video in a new playlist. It really helps out. It's a new release of a game. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to be playing it. If you want to help me with exposure on this playlist, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, share it with your friends. I'm Charlie. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hopefully. Bye-bye.